What's going on guys, Snake and Scorpion here, and today the Ravens are in discussion about trying to get Jet safety Jamal Adams. Now, Jamal Adams, he's really good, even though he's only in his going to his third year in the NFL season, he's really good. And I think the Ravens should actually go and pursue for him. Here's why. But quickly before we get into this video, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe. It will really help me out. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. The Ravens should go for Jamal Adams because Jamal Adams is really really good in 2018 he only allowed 55 percent of the passes to be caught in his area so he only allowed the offense to get only 55 percent of the balls caught when he was in that area last season he had a big improvement with only allowing 51.8 percent of passes to be completed while he was in, in that area last year he allowed only 51.7 percent of the passes to be caught in that area with a 9.2 yard per carry average. He's also been used to apply pressure to quarterbacks last season with 65 blitzes in 12 games compared to 69 blitzes in just 16 games. With him blitzing 65, 12, 65 times in just 12 games, that allowed him to get six and a half sacks on quarterbacks. Back in 2018, 9.4% of his tackles were missed, but last season he only allowed 4.5% of his tackles to be missed. Now those are just some of the reasons from stats that I'm looking at why the Ravens should get him. He, he He's great at blitzing quarterbacks, he's great at getting tackles, he's great at, you know, not getting many yardage for receptions. And Chuck Clark on the other hand, he he's not that good. In his rookie season, he gave up 11 receptions for 123 yards and 3 touchdowns in pass coverage. Adams offers so much versatility to both pass and rush defense that a defensive coordinator in mind like Rink Martindale would have been like Christmas has come to Baltimore if we actually got Adams. Now I, I do think that the Ravens should get him. I mean Chuck Clark he's not that good. We, we all know it. he's not that good and we have Earl Thomas but he had that whole thing with his wife and his brother and other chicks. But besides that I think having the Ra I think have I think the Ravens having Jamal Adams on their defense with strong safety Earl Thomas and you know strong safety John uh, Jamal Adams if he were to go there being with um cornerback Marlon Humphrey and Marcus Peters that would be one scary defense for the quarterback to try and get balls to pass because Marlon Humphrey he's outstanding he is one he is one of the best cornerbacks in the entire league. He is better than Stephon Gilmore, but everybody says that Stephon Gilmore and his like partner cornerback, like how Ravens is, like how Marlon Humphrey's partner is mm, Marcus Peters. Everybody says that Stephon Gilmore and his partner is better, but they're actually not. They only say that because of popularity. But Marcus Peters coming from the Rams during this season, he, he wasn't good at the Rams, but as soon as he came here, he got six interceptions and like two pick sixes since he came to Baltimore in one season. Now, if you don't tell me, that se that seems scary for any team to try to fight Earl Thomas on strong safety. Jamal Adams, if he be if he came here on strong safety. Marlon Humphrey on cornerback. Marcus Peters on cornerback. I don't know what to tell you. You're just stupid because Tom Brady can't do that. He's old, okay? Marlon Humphrey, he got Julian Edelman to fumble the ball and recovered it for a touchdown. Partner that with Marcus Peters, unstoppable. Earl Thomas and Chuck Clark, the only unstoppable is Earl Thomas. Chuck Clark, not that good, but if he were to switch them out for Jamal Adams, the Ravens would have one powerful defense that would be fierce. We've always been known as the defense, as the, the strong, scary defense, but KC taking that from us, but I think Baltimore should actually go and try to get Jamal Adams if they want to rebuild our defense like the 2012 Super Bowl run. Like the 2013 Super Bowl, 2012 Super Bowl run, you know what I mean. I just think that Ravens should actually try and pursue to get Jamal Adams. I know they're already discussing that they, they, they want to, but I think Jamal Adams will fit perfectly. We have a, I know, we have a great fan base. Like... It's, it's a good atmosphere. I've never been to a Ravens game myself, but it's a good atmosphere to go there. Like, everybody is supportive, and I think Jamal Adams going to Baltimore will feel at home, like, welcome, because he has 
I mean, come on, Earl Thomas. Like I said, you have all of those guys. You have Lamar Jackson on your team. Lamar Jackson. You got. You have all good players. Just, I think the Ravens should just swap out Chuck Clark because he's the only one that's really holding our defenses back for out of, for outfield guys. And then just swap him out for Jamal Adams, and nobody will most likely not be safe if anybody, if any quarterback tries to throw the, just tries to launch the ball to the receivers in the end, at the, towards the end zone. I just think the Ravens should try to pursue Jamal Adams, and if they do that, Ravens will probably be unstoppable, and that's scary. Because they were unstoppable last season during the pre during the regular season. We only lost to KC, but we almost won. We came back with like two minutes left with like a score, left, like one touchdown left, and we probably would have won. In Cleveland, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. And then we lost to Cleveland. We knew what we did wrong. We knew how to fight back, and we did. We beat all the teams that we had left. We beat San Francisco by Tucker kicking the field goal. And then we lost to Titan, Tennessee, which I'm so mad about. Yeah. But that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below what you guys think. And I may have another video coming out either today or tomorrow, because I want to discuss something about rebranding my channel. I know I just posted a logo like a like couple weeks ago, but I think it's I think I haven't I have an idea on a logo that I want to do, but I don't know how to do it, and I want to get your guys' opinion on it first. So that's going to wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.